Hi there. This is video 8 of the decimals video series. This time we're having a look at dividing by 10, 100, 1000, etc. Okay, dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. Now, when we were multiplying in the last video by 100, 10, 100, and 1000, we moved our decimal point one place to the right for each zero. And I think you can pick that uh, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to move the decimal point one place to the left for each zero this time. So if we're dividing by 10, 10 has a one zero, so we're going to be moving one place to the left with our decimal point. Here's our example this time, 27.6 divided by 10. If we move one place to the left with our decimal point, you can see we're going to have our decimal point between the 2 and the 7 now. 2.76 is our answer. We've moved it one place to the left because 10 had one zero in it. If we're dividing by 100, 100 has two zeros in it. We're looking to move the decimal point two places to the left. We'll start off with the same number there, 27.6, but this time we're going to divide it by 100. We're going to move that decimal point two places to the left. Now, when that decimal point is at the very left here, we'll just put in a zero at the front of it just to show people that we've actually got a decimal involved here and there's no confusion. So 0.276 is our answer there. We moved it two places to the left because 100 had two zeros in it. If we're dividing by 1,000, I think you can pick the pattern. There are three zeros. We are moving our decimal point three places to the left. Now this time, if we move our decimal point three places to the left, we actually move past a place that doesn't have a digit in it. So we're going to put in a zero in there so that we can hold that place so we know that it's moved three jumps and not just two. And we're also going to put a zero at the front just to make it clear that it's a proper decimal there. So we've really only moved the decimal point three places to the left, but we've filled in our spaces really with zeros just to help uh, help to be clear with our answer. So our final answer there, 0.0276 this time. We'll just be careful with our zeros there. But in the end the pattern holds. When we're dividing we move uh, the decimal point one place to the left for each zero. If we're dividing by 10 it moves one place to the left. Dividing by 100 with two zeros it moves two places to the left. Dividing by 1000 the decimal point moves three places to the left. So along with uh, the rules for multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, you can see that it makes a bit of sense there. We just use the number of zeros that we are multiplying or dividing by to decide uh, how many jumps we move with the decimal point for uh, finding our answer. Hope that helps. Uh, a bit of a shortcut, that one as well. And we'll see you next time for multiplying decimals.